Hi there. Uh, if you've done enough searching on the internet like I did, you found out how to depressurize the DeLonghi EC155 filters. Um, but I'm going to show it to you. I don't think there's a video, so at least I couldn't find it. These are the filters. Here's the double and here's the single. So you've seen these things before. They got the little frothy bit on the bottom, which helps with crema. And these are the actual pressurized bits. The uh, other, some other DeLonghi machines, the basket's not pressurized, the porta handle, porta filter handle actually is. But these are the ones that are actually pressurized on the EC155. So what you do is unscrew this, and you get that. Pop this little guy out here, unfold this, and you have then this piece. Now, this is a bit hard to see, but if you look right in there, that little bit there is actually through the thing, and it goes out this piece on the bottom right there. And if I push on it, here you can see the thing actually lift up and down a little bit. Let me do it right there. There you go. See it moving there? That's the pressurized bit. So as pressure builds up on the top of this thing, the spring in here actually allows it to push out, and that's how the machine actually works for if you don't want to use ground espresso, or if you don't, if you want to use pre-ground espresso, I should say. Now the way you get that out, do two different things. I actually just use a little knife like this, put it on the back, put my thumb over the tip of this because it'll come flying out, there's a spring in there. Push it a little bit, get the knife in here, there's actually that little, well, as you can see, if you can see this here. See it makes a little gap right there, right here, there's a little gap and the knife will fit under it. Put that in there and just kind of wiggle it a little bit. And there you go. A little pop sound means it's done. Out of that, you will get the little nub in there. And on this side, you get a little washer and a little spring. Totally disassemble the thing. That's what you've got there. You've got the big basket part. This is a nice gasket that holds the filter bit. That's the part with the holes in it. This is the pressurized base. Here's the three parts that actually make up the pressurized bit. Spring, that little post right there, and the washer. And this is the screw base on the bottom. So the whole thing together, you get this one. This is actually the single filter here. So that's how you depressurize the thing. Now, if you have enough uh, patience, this is completely reversible. If you put all this together, leaving these guys out, you will have this without any pressurization. And there's the hole that the coffee will go running through right there. So you can put it all back together and it'll work. Now if you're anything like me and you've wanted to actually depressurize this, you're doing it for a reason, which is that you want better tasting espresso. So what I actually did was I went out and got myself this. This is the La Pavoni basket. Um, you can see the edge of it is actually kind of wrinkled up there. It's because you the edge is actually flanged to fit the La Pavoni portafilter handle. So you need to take a, a pair of pliers and flatten the thing yourself. Uh, this works very, very well. I've been very happy with this. But now my wife wants to use the espresso machine. She has her favorite pre-ground coffee, which, you know, we'll discuss the merits of that later. Or not at all, because I do not want to get divorced over this. Maybe I will. Who knows? Anyway, I have this. My wife wants to use the machine, so now that I have this, I decided that I needed to do this in reverse for her. It can be done. It takes a little bit of patience, but it can be done. Do this in reverse. First things first, we don't need all this stuff here. We just need these four things. What you got to do is you got to get the spring back in the hole. You got to put this pin back through here, and then you got to press this little doohickey back down on there. That's the pain in the ass, because that spring is actually pretty tight. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's actually a, a flange right there. The spring sits inside that flange so this thing doesn't slide around. So you put it back on there, like that, and then you got to press it down. Now what I'm using to do that Got a very small screwdriver here, and I got this little tool here. It's a wire stripper, but it also happens to have a nice fine point. You can see how kind of fine that is right there. 
So what I'm using this for is basically like this. Put this on here to hold it in place. Get this so it spans that. And then with even pressure, if you get it just right, you could push down on this thing and it'll snap into place. And of course, all the practice runs for this. It worked. Now it's not gonna. Let's see if we can get it to work here. There we go. Snap. And pops into place. We're done. And now we've got our little, you can see that spring-loaded piece again right there. It's spring-loaded. It's all nice and tight in there. And then you just put the whole thing back together. So this goes on top. Slide that little hole right there lines up with that peg. Slide it all around. Drop that back into your container here. And screw on the bottom. And you now have a pressurized basket again for your wife. Or my wife. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy happy brewing.